Welcome to Lecture 4, Financial Management. So my name is Andy Price. I head up Zurich's fleet risk management practice in Europe, the Middle East and Africa. Uh, so my role is predominantly to work with our customers to help them sustainably reduce their collision and claim rates. And I come from this, uh, from a practical background. So I used to have responsibility for the safety of a fleet in a chemical industry um, back in the 1990s, um, where I helped them improve their, their collision and claim rate. And, and when I left that business, uh, the collision rate was one collision, one moving collision every 1.8 million miles, which ultimately led to me getting recognised in the fleet industry and joining the services, uh, the financial services industry. Um, so that's how I end up working for an insurance company. We're going to talk about financial management, but what I thought I'd first do is remind you the four fundamental reasons why any organisation would want to manage work-related road risks. There's the compliance issue, meeting legislative requirements. So the vehicles um, operating in the, in the countries where, where you operate, making sure that they're legally compliant with the road traffic laws, any road safety laws, and any health and safety laws that are applicable to, to make employees making work-related journeys. There's the corporate social responsibility element. Um, obviously, you don't want to go around sort of injuring people in the environments in which you're operating, but actually there's a lot of synergies between what we do from a safe driving perspective and what's good from an environmental perspective especially related to carbon dioxide emissions. But actually the reason why any organisation should manage this is actually managing the risk of harm. If a driver is covering 40,000 kilometres per year in their vehicle, they have a 1 in 8,000 chance of dying whilst at work every year, which is similar to someone working in the coal mining or quarrying industry, and much more risky than someone working in construction, which is 1 in 10,000, or agriculture, which is 1 in 13,000. Now, we all think of construction as a high-risk activity, but actually driving 40,000 kilometres per year, and you may have drivers who've got much higher um, exposures, um, similar risk of dying as someone in the quarrying or coal mining industry. And the latest stats from the European Union, which are from 2014, show that almost 25,700 people die in road collisions every year, and more than 200,000 people suffer life-changing injuries. So that's the real reason why we should be doing this the risk of harm and managing that. 